definitely be big enough for this pet. Drum roll, please. Our new pet just leaked everywhere. Crap. Now, all right, here is our brand new pet in their home. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm really excited for today's video because we do have a brand new pet, something you guys will get to name in the comments down below later in the video. Now, you might be thinking, what can fit in a jar? What pet can go in a jar? That doesn't even really make too much sense. You'll just have to see. You'll just have to see. It's a little different. It's a little different. I, ha I have to say it's different. And I don't think I put it in the title or the thumbnail what it is. So also you can start placing your guesses now, but I already say that like further in the video. So I don't know why I just said that again. But yeah, we have this whole bucket of stuff and some extra stuff to go ahead and set up the new pet in their brand new home. So without further ado, let me throw you guys to some clips from when I first started getting everything for this pet, including the pet itself. So let me throw you guys to all that. Can we just take a second to look at this lighting? Cause like this lighting is just, a1. It is a very low maintenance, very easy pet that I've never owned before. So I'm going to go into the store right now and I have my face mask right here with my shark and we're going to get the actual like house for this pet. So a lot of you said I should get this and I'm excited to. Like I said, I've never owned one before. So let's go into the store right now and I probably won't get everything today because I'm not going to be getting the pet today, but I am going to get the actual house for it. And I think I may own the substrate I want, but I definitely have to get like plants and some sort of like driftwood or rocks or something. So Let's go into the store now and pick out the house for the new pet. By the way, I have a project coming up with these right here. You guys will see like videos on it pretty soon, but I do have to get a bunch of these for a project that is going to be pretty awesome. So stay tuned for that. Also, I'm having a little trouble finding what I was looking for because the section is kind of cleared out. I was looking for like a glass type of thing like this or even plastic, but with a cork top, something I can just like open and close but I'm not finding that, so we may have to do something else or go to a different store a different day. Okay, so I decided I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this. It's like $6, almost seven, so like $7 for this. And it's a pretty decent size. It'll definitely be big enough for this pet. So uh, I think that's all I have to get today for this project, this pet. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the next store when I get the next thing for them. All right, so I'm at the store to get the pet now. I didn't tell you guys yet, but they do have some bettas and I haven't had bettas in, in, I don't know, maybe like two months just cause like the whole COVID thing, but they do have bettas in, which is kind of cool to see. Cause I haven't seen bettas in a long time, like in a store. The lighting is all types of messed up. I'll just show you like some of them. These are like some basic ones, but cool. Oh, this one's really cool. This one is crown tail. It's like yellow, blue, and white. And I love yellow and blue together. So like I really low key want to buy it. Koi back here too. Oh, this is a really nice one. It's like a calico koi. Drum roll, please. <laughs> a moss ball because they're like basically no maintenance and they're just really easy and they look cool so i said i'm gonna get some because i've never had them i can also say i get like the pack with like multiple i could eventually or whatever put like one or two of them in like a betta tank or the shrimp tank so i'm not sure if i should get a pack of them they have a pack of three there's one over here that also has a pack of four are these are they the same price as a large one i think they're the same price as a large one let's get a big one it's like a pack of four. They do grow, you know. Yeah, so let's get a big one. And then there's the big ones. So I think I'm going to get a big one. I just have to decide which one I want to get. I think this one is probably the biggest one. Let's see. That one's like really big. And there's this one. This one's kind of smaller than like those. This one's kind of big too. I like this one the best. This one? Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll get that one. I'll put these away. Now we have our new pet. So yeah, I know I said I was gonna be in my bedroom setting this up, but I'm actually not gonna set it up there. I'm gonna set it up in the fish room and then you guys can like see more of the fish and stuff because I haven't been able to post them too much. Let's get going. So in this very here bucket, we do have the home for the new pet. We have plenty of room to set it up right here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We have the jar right here. Had this so that it wouldn't get scratched up. Uh-oh, that's not good. Our new pet just leaked everywhere, crap. Like I guess the container either broke or just kind of like broke open and it kind of got everywhere, but that's okay. It'll still be fine. We have the water conditioner right here. Like I showed you guys already, like we got the sand and stuff. So I'm gonna take out the sand first we definitely need that first. All right, so the first step, I'm just gonna do a quick rinse of some sand and then we can start putting it into the new home for our pet. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. There we go, so it's all ready for the sand. So let's go ahead and uh, rinse this stuff. All right, so now I'm in the bathroom. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to like kind of use my hand to rinse it, but it's not a big deal if it's not rinsed that well um, because it'll all eventually settle to the bottom or rinse or raise to the top so I can just take it out. But I don't have like a cup or anything, so I'm just gonna rinse some in my hand and then bring it in and put it in the jar. 
All right, the first little bit of sand is gonna go in right now. This is a very messy process. I'm really starting to believe it's just not worth rinsing, so I'm not gonna rinse it, and I'll just fill it up with some water and try and get out what I can. But it's not a big deal, because the pet, like I already showed you guys, the moss ball, isn't like, you know, they don't really care. <laughs> if the substrate is rinsed and stuff, it's more just about, like, I don't want it to look dirty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour in some more of the sand without dropping it, because I probably will. And I wanna get a good layer in there, maybe like two inches. So I'm gonna try and put as much in as I can. Now that is probably good because I am gonna have rocks in there, driftwood and the pet itself. So yeah, that's probably enough at least to start. So now I gotta go ahead and position the rocks and the driftwood, which I have right here in this bucket. So let's even see if the driftwood fits because I never even checked it. Okay, it does fit, but I may have to break off a piece if I can't get it to fit in here. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit all the way. So I think I'm just gonna have to break a little tiny piece off of this top so that it can fit. But I'm gonna position it how I want it before I break anything off just in case I can make it fit. There's a teeny tiny spider in here. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting that, but now I gotta try and get him out because that was just like really random. Literally trying to get a, a white spider out of white sand is just not easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wood in here like I was doing because before the spider so rudely interrupted. Something like that maybe, maybe I'll do it up on an angle. I think that'll look pretty cool. Now I just gotta go through these rocks and try and build some sort of formation that I like for this. All right, I just like these rocks out because they're all pretty much the same color which is good. I'll probably throw in some other ones as well, but I'm gonna start with these. And like I said, just start positioning them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do like a time-lapse. So enjoy. Honestly, without even putting like the moss ball in, this thing looks really good. And I think it's probably one of my escaped like tank, but I'm really liking how this looks. I love white sand and gravel as you guys may or may not know. And I'm just really loving the hardscape of this and the simplicity of it. And I think that the green of the moss ball is just gonna make it completely pop. So I think the last step, putting the moss ball in and then we gotta fill up the tank and everything and you know, the wood may float up or something. We gotta figure out a couple more things, but we're almost done. So let's go ahead and get our moss ball in there. Like I said, a lot of the water unfortunately drained, but it was only in there for a day. But I'm sure it didn't leak that long ago, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and put our moss ball into this new home. I'm gonna put some water in here real quick, then I'll put the moss ball in. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this in. Hopefully not make a mess. All right, so there's a decent amount of water in there now, so I think I can go ahead and try to put the moss ball in there. I'm not sure if it's gonna sink or float, but let's go ahead and just grab it. It feels so weird. And place it in. Sink, sink. But let's go ahead and fill it up more, and we also have to take care of this branch and see what else we can do in here. All right, so I did have to unfortunately take off a few more pieces than I was expecting, but you know, maybe I can even put these in there somewhere. But now the next thing is kind of getting more rocks in there because I feel like there's not enough and also fixing the moss ball, but it does close, which is what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up and we can continue to fix it. All right, here is our brand new pet in their home. Let's roll it. So this right here is our brand new pet in their jar, in their new little home. Um, I think it's really cool. I think, you know, obviously it has to settle just a little bit more so that it's not so dirty, but it still looks really good. And the glass is also good because you can see in it and it doesn't really magnify it too much, but I think it looks cool from like all angles of it. I think that also like is what makes it unique is because you can turn it at any angle and it still looks good. You can still see the moss ball. You can still see like a lot of the hardscape and everything. So. I'm just really excited to have a new pet, but now, now is the fun part. You guys have to go ahead in the comments down below and 
comment a name. The one with the most likes, everyone spam it with as many names that you can think of. Either the one with the most likes will choose or maybe I'll just like choose between a couple or maybe even put a poll in my community tab of a few different ones that get a lot of likes and uh, then we can pick a name for it. So I am gonna be putting this in my bedroom because it doesn't really need too much maintenance. And fun little fact, these moss balls are actually very, very common in other cultures as kind of like an heirloom that they pass down from generation to generation because they actually can live like around 200 years. So that's amazing. That's just like a little bit of fun fact for you guys. But yeah, that is our new pet. And hopefully when I bring it to my room, it doesn't get all messed up. But if it does, I can just like fix it a little bit. But yeah, everything in the fish room is still doing good. It's still kind of a mess because I haven't finished it. And like I kind of said in the other clip, like I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. I have a 20 gallon over there. I have a ton of empty tanks. So what do you think? What do you think we should name it? What do you think we should name the moss ball, huh? She's like, just feed me. I don't really care. <laughs> Albert? Maybe? Albert? No? Yes? Do you know what to name it? So yeah, that is our new little pet. If you guys want to go ahead and comment down below a name for it, that'd be great. Also, stay tuned for other videos. But other than that, me and this moss ball and Albert and Lila and everyone else, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>